Hey folks, welcome back to the Holy Comforter Episcopal Church YouTube Bible Study. I'm the Reverend Jimmy Abbott, and I have a few thoughts and reflections for you about this upcoming Sunday, which is the day of Pentecost. Now, here for us at Holy Comforter, this is an important day. It's our feast day as a parish. And when you think back on it, we've had some important celebrations on the day of Pentecost in the past. In 2017, we had the ceremonial groundbreaking with Bishop Fisher for our new church building. In 2018, we all signed the steel beam that now stands above the altar in our new church. In 2019, we sent me away on a sabbatical for the summer. And now we gather here in 2021 to send away Deacon Bob on his sabbatical and to celebrate us continuing to regather and to reopen our church in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic. The lesson I want to focus on today is taken from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2, verses 1 through 21. This is always what we read on the day of Pentecost. And if you can, I'd like you to pause the video here and go and read that, Acts 2, verses 1 through 21. You're going to come across a lot of names of peoples that you might have a hard time saying. That's okay. And it's actually that that I'd like to focus on. One of the beautiful things that we celebrate on the day of Pentecost is that the way of Jesus Christ is open to all people and all nations. It is not bound by any one race or ethnicity or gender. That truly the way of God, the way of the Holy Spirit, is open to all people. I've been reading a book of systematic theology by my theology professor from back at seminary. Her name is Kate Sonderager. And she writes about this fear that we have called plethoraphobia. Plethoraphobia, as in fear of the many. And I think that's very true in our world today. We are afraid of other people, of other ways of life. We are so adamant that other people have to live our way. I think this is to our detriment. And I think that what we actually see here in Pentecost is a reversal of the Tower of Babel that takes place in the book of Genesis. Remember, in that story, the peoples of the world are divided by language, but here we have not that everybody is united by a single language, but that the ways of God can be understood by all people regardless of language. So it's pushing back against the plethorophobia that you and I have. And instead of trying to get everybody to be of the same, to be unified based on some category, we can celebrate that God has made us all different. And really the true victory of the Holy Spirit is that we are all united despite our differences, so that there is unity though we are diverse. That, to me, is the great gift of Pentecost, and I hope you see that as a gift, too. I invite you to celebrate with us this Sunday. We'll have our church services at 8 and 10. We'll have our big picnic afterwards. It's going to be a great time. Remember, you can always subscribe to all the Holy Comforter YouTube videos by clicking here. You can watch another video from Holy Comforter by clicking here. Remember that we are with you, both in person and digitally.